Hello, this is Reza from Radicad. Um, yesterday I talked about what is treat as function, how you can use it for filtering or creating virtual relationship. Today I'm going to talk about how you can use that to, uh, to create a relationship based on multiple fields, like these two tables based on title and year in each table. I want to create that relationship, how we can do that with treat as in Power BI. Now, before I start, let me clarify some something because in the previous, in yesterday's video, I had a lot of questions about uh, why should I not create a relationship or is it better to not create a relationship, use treat as. Uh, these uh, videos for yesterday and today, these are for learning perspective, not recommendation perspective. For example, I do not recommend to use treat as this way to create a virtual relationship between these two tables based on the two fields. What I do recommend is to create like a shared dimension in between, which has movies list, which filter both. Uh, and use like compo compound keys in each field in each table created in Power Query or as a calculated column in Power BI to create a relationship. Uh, so these videos are mainly for the learning perspective. For now, we'll talk about use cases of trees treat as later on because it has many use cases as well. Okay, for this example, let's say I want to do that. I want to create a relationship based on title and the year to get these two tables filtered, filtering each other. Right now, if I have a table visual that has title and year from the rating table, this is rating of movies, um, it filters the rating information because that's in the same table, but sales information like lifetime gross sales, I get the same sales for all um, titles and years because it's not getting filtered. Having a relationship means it is getting filtered, but you cannot create a relationship based on multiple fields. Now you can do that using uh, treat as. So I can write a measure using treat as that says um, these table, the rating table filters the uh, the sales table. For that, uh, for the treat as we have uh, a few uh, um, input parameters. I just start from beginning so you can see what are the input parameters of treat as. So when you use treat as, you have an expression which should be a table expression and then column one, column two, column three. You can say your expression to be a table, for example, rating table, and then column columns that you are used for filtering based on the values of the table. For example, you can say this is the title from the sales table, and year from the sales table. But this won't work if you try something like that because this table returns four columns. Rating returns four columns because it has four columns in it. Here we are just filtering two columns. It should be exactly the same number of columns. Now let me show you that in a real uh, measure. So here I have a measure that I'm calculating sum of uh, lifetime gross using three tabs. Now if I use three tabs directly just on the rating table, just to show you how it works, um, like this. This would give me an error because the rating table returns four columns. Here you can see that it has actually four columns uh, versus here I'm filtering only two columns based on the result of that. This should return exactly the same two columns and there are different ways you can return two columns from this table. You can use different uh, DAX uh, functions. One of them is select columns, which I used here. So select columns is saying that from this table, for example, you want to have two columns. One is let's say title, which would be the title uh, column over there. Another is year. The name is not that much important. The order is, right? So this would return a sub table from the rating table only with these two columns and these two columns are used for filtering these two. So if the first column here was the title column, I should use title column here. Again, name is not important. I can call this X and that would be a still fine. Uh, uh, the thing that matters is the order. Like here, if I say year and if I say title over there, this won't work because Mm, this is a numeric column, it can filter this one, and even if it can, if they are both 
text columns. This would be used to filter that. This would be used to filter that, right? So you need to sh make sure that um, those are referring to the same set of values and they are in the right order, right? So something like this would definitely work. So I'm saying that from the rating table, give me only two columns of title and year and use that to filter the sales table title and the sales table year. Right. If you have three columns, four columns, anything like that, you would be able to use exactly the same approach. So this is my three tasks section used inside a calculate. And as a result, when I use that, this would be the result that I get. Right. So even though there is no relationship, this still gives me the result. You see some blank values here. That is because not every movie in the mo in the rating table, we have a record for that in the sales table. This is just like some of that uh, part of that information. So back to the expression again. Uh, the learning of this uh, example is that this table, table expression, should return exactly the same number of columns that you are filtering and exactly the same order. That is important. Um, one more time, I uh, explained that this is not, let's say, a recommended approach. I'm explaining this for learning how, for learning purpose to show you how treat as works in general. But in recommendation perspective, I would always suggest creating like a shared dimension in between and creating relationship based on compound fields based on that. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you.